Yo, what's up? In today's video, we're gonna make an owner's only door. Before we start, I wanna say sorry for not uploading uh, and continuing on the series. If you're in my Discord, you probably know the reason why, because I've said it a couple of times now. Um, and the reason for that is because I've been on vacation. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, we're gonna start and we're gonna make a model. So, I'll first start with uh, the kill part. So, I'll make cylinders. You don't have to do it, you can make this however you want. I'm gonna make a dummy as reference. Yeah, that should be big enough. I'll make this red and put neon model. And I'll make mine like this. This will be the, the kill part. So I'll uh, hold control and press on all of them to select them all. Then control G to group them and then rename it. Uh, I think you should rename yours. Wait, no, don't. Actually, don't uh, group it. Uh, press Ctrl U or right click on it and then ungroup, ungroup it. Uh, select them all, and then go up here, model, and then union. Now we have a union, name this union. Hill. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, so we can now insert a script in here. And we're gonna start by typing local. Players equals game colon get service players. Go down two lines. The one doesn't really matter. Function u hit then local player equals players colon get player from character hit dot parent. And then we're gonna type local base equals workspace dot tycoon one but you gotta remember this though uh, if if this doesn't work this time probably because in here workspace you don't have this folder named tycoon one uh, whatever is whatever this folder is called you gotta put in here uh, and then we're gonna do if not player not players player then return end and we're gonna do if base owner no no base dot owner equals equals actually based on the value equals equals player then go down line and uh, here we can type nothing because we're not gonna do anything if uh, if the player is the uh, owner then we're gonna go type else and then go down two lines. Then do hit dot parent dot parent dot humanoid dot health equals zero. All right. Then we can do behind these two ends. Go down two lines. Type script dot parent dot touched colon connect you or yeah you like that. So now this will connect to this function and yeah so now we have this uh, this made I think we should uh, make the size you can make this however you want I'll make one like this nothing too advanced oh I'll just uh, group these or union them. Now we're gonna make a button, alright? So I'm gonna make mine over here on the side here. Oops. And then I'll make it like this. Make it green. Maybe neon. So when this is. We can also make it uh, double sided so we can drag this over here. So we can do it like this. This one could be named. What should it be named? Um, open door. Something like that. Instead of here, we're gonna add a script and a click detector. In the script, type local base equals workspace dot tycoon one. Then go down line local click detector equals script dot parent dot click detector uh, local door equals 
uh, script.parent.parent.kill, right? Yeah. We could also do this, group this all in this door, or like own owner door. And then here, no, not this one, other one. Uh, it would be this one script.parent.parent. Script .parent .parent kill. Yeah, that's how we do it. Now, uh, we do. Uh, what should we do? Local dbounce, maybe we can use that. Equals false. Local db equals false. Then we're gonna go down. Click detector. Dot mouse click. Get the click of the mouse. Be obvious. Then we type function. And then another colon. And we can do plr. PLR I mean, I can say PL, plr. Okay, there. Now, go down line. Do it end. And now we can do if db equals equals false and base dot owner of value equals equals plr. Then we do db equals true. And then we can do door dot transparency equals one. So door would be the kill part. I can type door dot can and uh, can touch I mean equals false also before we do that we can go into this and find the kill part scroll down anchor everything by the way and turn off can collide we can get back to this now and type else again and we type we can actually copy this and then do if db equals true and then we change this to false and this to zero, this is true. That should be it. So we're gonna make a buy, we're gonna make a button for this too, so you can buy this, but I'm gonna test it first. All right, I'm not in a team yet. You see, I'm neutral. I run over there. All right, touch that. And it still says owner buy. <laughs> I keep on forgetting it. Alright, touch that. And it still says owner buy. <laughs> I keep on forgetting it. And I forgot to anchor everything. Also, I'm gonna put this owner door inside Tycoon 1. Alright, don't mind that little thing is a uh, thing I'm working on. Alright, owner, none. And then I own the base. Now, see, I can walk through it. I, I can't press on it because. I have this thing, or maybe some. No, that's not what I want. All right, don't don't worry about that. Wait, actually, there's something here. Uh, take one my existed on. Oh, there is a um, problem here. We gotta do another line, probably. Yeah, add another end. On this. My bad. All right, so we're gonna touch this part, and yeah, boom. And now we're gonna touch this. We can't die. Press this. It opens, and then it closes. And with this one because it's the same button and now if we don't touch that part and instead touch this one we die and we can't press this because we're not the owner of the base so now i will tell you guys how everything here works so we go back to the first script which is actually no i'm not going to do the first i'm going to make this show you how, guys how to do this so if you're going to make another button for example any of these we're going to copy this one control d or control, uh, control c plus control d we're gonna make everything here and collide off and transparency one. Now instead of here, this button, we're gonna name it like owner door button, something like that. Go into name part, name and name text. Change this to by owner door. Alright, and then where it says price, you can change this to whatever you want. Um, I'll do 500 for now. Now go into the script. And then up here, local purchase item. Change this to owner door. And this one is not a dropper. I, I specified it only for droppers. So we're going to delete this line. And now... Uh,
Drop handler, there's nothing, it's probably... Ah, don't worry about this. I think you should delete this one too, if I'm right. Now we can go over here, and uh, this one should be taken one. And uh, here we change the actual price, I said 500, right? I'm pretty sure I did. And where's the spawner here? We're not gonna have this, we're gonna delete this. And uh, yeah, then we can leave it like this. So, how this one works is... Checks player if you hit it, then it checks if the, uh, whatever hit was a player. It checks uh, if the player is the owner. It checks if the player has enough money to buy it, and if it does, and it touched it, it will subtract 500 from it. Then it will uh, make an uh, what's it called uh, for loop, I think. Oh, anyway. then we get all the children. So we will check the purchase item and get a children and. Basically, just make them all transparent and can collide true. So now we can go out of this one. This one should work. I'll put it right here. And and then if we go in this one, here it gets the players. This is just a variable. Here's a function, so we will get the player, not the players. So we will get the player this time. And wish I. Uh, and then we have local base, which will get the base, obviously. And then here it says if it doesn't find a player, then we'll stop the script. And here it checks if the base if the player is the base owner. And if it is, then nothing happens. Or else if it's not, then the player will die. And, it con and this just connects the script. The other one is the open door. So here's the base. Here's the click detector that we added. Here's the kill part, the red part. Here's just the debounce, which makes it I don't know why we have a debounce here, if I'm gonna be honest, we didn't even use it. But here it checks if the click detector, uh, if it, it detects if the mouse will click basically and it makes a function, and the function is the player here. So uh, we can detect that, so if, if uh, debounce equals false, and the base, and the owner is the, and the base, wait no, if the player is the owner of that base, and then it will make the debounce true. And then it will change the transparency of the door and make it can't collide. And uh, I can't collide, can't touch. Otherwise, it will uh, do the opposite. So, yeah, that's how. You, that's how, that's as easy I can, as I can explain it. We can test it again with the buy button this time. All right, we gotta touch this. I only have one hundred and one money, so I'll have to I'll buy this one for now. And I get some money. Alright, I got 500, and now if I step on this... Oh, that's right, it doesn't show it, because this is on my part. So, if we were to make this a... Um, no, not this one. We want to make this work for both... Because um, it's, it's a union, right? Actually, what we can do... These side walls... I'll separate them. Make them transparent again. Skill thing though, I'm gonna make it like this. Just so I don't ha I don't have to explain so much. So I used to under here local and the spawn handler script. Local kill equals script dot parent dot uh, parent dot kill. No wait. Script. Oh wait, no no no. Let's do workspace. You know we used to do tycoon. Dot bay and um, it's called owner door. Dot kill. That, that's what we gotta do. All right, then we can do kill. Dot transparency equals zero, and then kill. Dot can. Oh no, we don't. Have, we don't have to change that. This is all we have to do. So I won't have to change much more. So now uh, I actually just go give myself more money. Here I give myself five hundred. Alright, touch this part, over here, buy it, and this is not anchored, of course. We have to press this, it works, <laughs> we got to anchor those, because I uh, separated them. But yeah, it works. If you like this video, um, do whatever in the next episode, uh, I think we're actually done, but I think we're, I'm gonna show you guys how to change everything yourself, and actually finish this. And add more stuff to it uh, but if this is the last episode then there will be a 
a free model down in the description we can download the whole model so you can well if you're just lazy i guess uh you can get it so yeah thanks for watching and bye bye